Happy Earth Day, and uh, welcome to Hiking with Darren and Natel. I'm Darren, that's Natel, and uh, we're thrilled you can join us on today's hike. Hello. Hello. All right, it's a little cool, overcast Wednesday here in the foothills, and this is our daily hike. We basically do close to the same hike every day. Every day. It's almost like a self-imposed groundhog day. I forgot my stick. We're very vulnerable today. Today's been another busy day. Yeah, it was really busy. Flew by. I had a fun uh, inquiry about a project that involved something really fun that I can't talk about. <laughs> I'll probably wow. delete that out. Vague post. Well, I don't mean it to be vague, but I, it's a little bit early on in the thing, but I got super excited about a, a campaign that, let's say, supports the frontline workers. I talk too much. What? The funnest part of the hike. Hey, tell. Uh, I was talking to somebody today that said uh, they have a teenager, yes. like Madden's age, uh -huh. that was making fun of them for watching this hiking show. Why? Meanwhile, they're the same kids watching other people play video games. So yeah. I said, there's nothing wrong with, with watching people hike. <laughs> All right, I gotta put this away now because, you know, hills. Oh man. No wonder you don't wear a jacket. I know. <laughs> it's cold. It's unusually cold for a uh, <sighs> April out here. Whew. Hey Tell. Yeah. So I got trapped in like a vortex, never ending loop of some online stuff today. And uh, the subject was a business in town that uh, was lit up by like a, a person that was upset on how they were dealing with with a client with the current situation of all that stuff that's going on and uh, wow it was like I was watching a Clint Eastwood movie and there was people with like pitchforks and uh, yeah, it was pretty crazy but I don't know the facts so I'm not really gonna come on comment on it but it was just like this it's just it's always the comments in those things that are like unbelievable to me Facebook's even not even anonymous, but uh, it's the wild, wild west. You saw a little bit of that. What did you think? Uh, I think there's always different sides to the story, and I think people get emotional and upset when money's involved and emotionally tied to certain things. So I don't know. Hopefully they can figure it out. Lynch mob. That's yeah. what I was looking for. But didn't it feel like that? Like there was people. Um, you know, I'm gonna leave reviews here or call them out or post yeah. these screenshots and do all this kind of stuff. Yeah, and it was bad. Um, sometimes people make a bad call, but uh, again, I can't, I'm not even, I don't wanna say I'm for or against anything I saw other than it's just a. It's sort of shocking. It is. And the only reason I bring that up is like, now's the time. Now's the time when true colors come out. I think, especially if you're a business and how you deal with people and how you deal with interruptions and and what uh, whatever other people are going through is like that's what's going to define you it's like nothing matters what you've done in the past for the most part but everybody's vulnerable and everyone has their own reasons so treat your people well no matter what help each other out it's a tough time for everyone but the last thing on this is just uh maybe if you're gonna come back and try to use all your social power to you know, bring someone down, take an extra few minutes and just make sure, make sure it's the right. You exhausted sure you, all options. Yeah. That's what you, the reason I wear glasses is because where I look is this way off screen and where the lens is here. So if I didn't have these on, I'd be looking off camera and it's weird and I'm the one who has to edit this. <laughs> so just in case. Is it snowing? Just in case you're wondering. We gotta get home to those patio cushions. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> I forgot about those. They're actually out and it's raining. I'm really concerned. 
I still think you shouldn't have bought the worst patio Shut furniture up. ever. <laughs> uh, we started watching Brooklyn 999. Brooklyn 99. Brooklyn 99. And we've never I've never seen it before. <laughs> and it's pretty funny. It's like stupid funny. <laughs> there's like seven seven seasons and uh it makes us laugh. There's a little string of continuous storyline, but every show has a different plot. Which is nice because you can fall asleep in it and then still wake up and pick up the next one after you have your little snooze. Oh no. There was a lot of uh, talk about eyebrows behind the scenes yesterday. Yes, there was. What's going on there? Uh, eyebrows, brow gel, uh, like mascara for your eyebrows, and face framers. So, yeah, putting in an order tonight. Uh, yeah. So, what a great way to talk about the state of women's eyebrows <laughs> in the year 2020, even 18 and 19. But what's going on there? Are people just not happy with their God-given eyebrows? If you make some of these changes, they seem permanent too. All this whole thing worries me. Well, there's always trends. Like back in the 80s, people just tweezed the heck out of them and you almost had no eyebrows. And now it's very full. All different styles, just like hair. I, one of the things I've, I've learned pretty early on is not to stare at a woman's eyebrows. <laughs> that is a uh, tip I would like to share to to all of you. No butterflies. They're sleeping. Okay. Sometimes the filming of this is uh, more strenuous than the actual hike. And uh, speaking of this weird stuff, Les Shroud, the original Survivor man, finally hit YouTube a while back. And he's posting like mad. He's OG. That guy started it all. In the wilderness with his nothing. Respect. Survivor man. Oh, it's Twisted Tree again. I don't think I've ever spoken as many words about a tree as I have of Twisted Tree. Tell, we've been getting a lot of fun uh, comments and messages from people. Yeah, that's been pretty awesome. Yeah. Now that I can see them. <laughs> but you know what it's dawned on me this morning was, like I think I've been making videos for years. Yeah. And I haven't heard some of the comments we've got out of some of the hiking shows. And that's it's just been touching. Maybe you always needed a sidekick. Yeah. <laughs> I th probably, actually. Uh, so there you have it. Conan has one. Jimmy Fallon has one. Everyone has one. I think I'm your sidekick. No. I know. I was it's just... Darren and Natal started on at the hall. I know. I was just Darren saying that hall just to be nice. Darren, president, vice president. All right, Tell, that's gonna be a hike. That's it, happy hump day, people. Happy hump day, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's garbage day. Oh, Big garbage day? day? <laughs> Is it recycling? No, yard waste. Yard waste, whoa. I'm gonna get right to work filling up the bin. I really can't stop. Okay, so, Here's a hiking pro tip that you're not going to find in the books. You know, this is a... Set and not pro tip. No, this is a pro tip for sure. So let's say you, you do the same hike a lot and you want to add a little bit of like uh, spunk to it. Is that the right word? <laughs> <laughs> it's probably not the right word. But if you want to add a little bit of umph to your hike and you don't want to have like a... You don't need to have a drink. You don't need to have any type of drugs. What you need to do is find the most downhill slope you can find <laughs> and lean into it. Get a little bit of a jog on and let, let gravity take you down that hill at speeds 
You wouldn't even think your body could hit. <laughs> I've seen Darren do this and I don't know why he does. I don't and I don't recommend it. Safety first people. I'm not an adrenaline junkie. This is a, a, as everything we do on this show, um, it's supervised by a professional. You just never see them. <laughs> but um, tread cautiously with this one, I'm telling you. But uh, if you could pull it off, you walk a thin line between <laughs> complete disaster and uh, euphoria. It's hitting the high speeds and complete car crash roll over your own toes. Well, you, you lose all control. Like you're just hoping <laughs> oh, that, and there's not too, honestly, like we're joking about this, but there really isn't too many things you can do that brings you to that spot. Okay, uh, we gotta go. Should we go? Yeah, it's raining, I'm cold, I wanna go. Bye. Okay. All right, here's a mild downhill slope. Someone with my tenure should have uh, no problem doing it. Oh, it's that guy who takes super long at the mailbox every time. Okay, so uh, let's give this a shot. So just get a little bit of speed, and then all of a sudden, 